What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. For those who are new here, hello and welcome. And for all of my returning subscribers, hey girl. So today, as you can see from the title and from all the goodies in front of me, I will be setting up my 2021 gardening planner. So in front of me here, I have some of the new items that came out for the 2021 season. I have the two sticker books, which we won't be using today, but I did want to show you that I got the gardening flower or the garden flowers in the Don't Stop Growing. You guys know that I absolutely love the Bloom Box release and I have been itching for more of those stickers and I'm so glad that they came out with this for this season. So I'm going to set those to the side. I have the accessory pack here, the 12 month gardening planner and then i just have last year's um gardening planner and we will be putting some of these items together so if you want to see how i'm setting this up i'm not 100 sure how i'm doing this so we're gonna be walking through this together so if you want to see that let's go all right so first i guess i can start off by showing you some of the things that i have already in my gardening planner so last year the happy planner came out with a planner accessory pack that was like really garden inspired but not necessarily only geared towards the garden but as you can see i created a whole planner out of it just something to keep all of my things in one spot so it had this folder in it and then four different dividers for um, each of the, each section and a little, what is this called? A bookmark. And then it also came with a zone chart. This is probably the biggest thing that will be changing in this setup. So I do still wanna keep my, excuse me, my seed inventory and my gardening plans in here. However, the weekly to-dos, this is what I was doing. So I was kind of doing like Bujo spreads. And while that worked out, I felt like I was spending a lot of time just trying to create a spread when really I just wanted to be able to write things out. And I mean, granted, this is fun still too, but um, it would be nice to just be able to go to something that was already set up. And I actually mentioned in one of my last videos that I did for my garden, how I was thinking about doing a uh, dashboard layout. Didn't get a dashboard layout because that is not what this is. However, I did get the planner that kind of, you know, coordinates well with this full setup here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm taking this section out because it has like this, you know, this colorful paper. And I know that I'm not going to use it if I'm being honest. So I'm going to pull this stuff out now. <sighs> Maybe I'll keep the weeks from last year in here just for reference. <clears throat> so let's set that to the side. And then we have some field notes. Also the same thing, I'm thinking I wanna pull these pages that have like any sort of like, you know, decor or anything out. And then we have a zone chart in the back, which I didn't really use. I know my zone, so it will be handy for those who don't know their zone. But for me, I already know that. Um, and these pages came from the, or actually from this notes. This was like a, a journaling doodle type note situation. All right, so field notes. Weekly to-dos, let me see, let me see. 
So instead of me keeping this stuff here, let me move this out the way. Field notes, I will keep in the back. Any notes from the previous year, that makes more sense. All right, so we have our seed inventory, which I do wanna keep this section right up in the front. Uh, gardening plans. This is where I kind of map out where I want what. Keep all of that in here. However, this little weekly to-do section, I can always use like, you know, some alcohol to get this little note off. But for right now, I'm not really sure what I want to put there. So let's pull this out. Field notes, I'll keep back here, but I'll figure out what I want to put right there. All right, so now since we have cleared out some space in this baby, I'm thinking I really love this cover, you guys, because yellow is my favorite color, as you can tell from my nails. And then I also have this Roots and Refuge farm sticker that says the garden is wooing and I must go and I just feel like it's so fitting so anywho let's dive in to the new goodies so this is a undate, undated planner I really love the cover but like I said I really love this cover too so I'm just going to stick with the cover that I have for now and we are going to use the guts in here and as I mentioned this is a undated planner which is perfect because I'm actually not starting anything for my garden until February. I might write down some like, you know, quick notes or whatever. Oh, excuse me. As far as, you know, seeds that I need to purchase and stuff like that. And I can always do that in these sections back here. But when it comes to actually doing things for my garden, None of that begins until February, March time. So I am going to put three months in this here. I'm also going to use this, this cover sheet because we need a cover sheet. All right. So let's get this in here. And I absolutely love these dividers. Look at the tomatoes, y'all. That is so cute. All right. So that's all that I'm pulling out of this planner right now, you guys. Look at that, that is so stinking cute. I don't even think that I showed you guys this planner. I'm sure that you've seen it already it came out recently, but I love the cover. These like, you know, the herbs, it's speaking my, speaking my language. So I am gonna pull this out so I can set this up when I need to. I'm gonna just pop it up in the front. Sorry for all the noise. I got a lot going on upstairs, apparently. All right, so now let's dig into the accessory pack to see what we can use in here. All right, so first thing we have here are some of these like little notes. Let's pop that right up in the front. I can always use a bookmark and I love that it is with the herbs because now I get to see that for every single spread. I will say this feels a lot flimsier than the other bookmarks. Like, I don't know if you can tell a difference. Like you can see how much this is moving around versus this, this is very stiff. Um, but I'm just going to pop this in. Yeah, I'm going to pop it in the weekly. So whenever I'm ready to begin setting up for February, I have that already in there. We have this paper. 
it says listed out and it just has like you know some citrus and some little flowers and then on the back it says every day is a fresh start for now i'm just going to put this paper to the side because i really don't need i don't know if i need that yet okay that guy and then the folder do i want another folder let's see um we have a folder back here and this is where we have this i'm thinking i actually want to keep this folder since it has those really cute succulents on it it's just giving me a vibe like that a little bit better i'm gonna put this in the front oh. over here yeah, let's put this right up in the front because that's where I'm housing all of my Roots and Refuge stickers right now. All right, so we have our folder. I'm going to put that guy in here. Just these additional sticker sheets. And let's see. All right, so let's see how I like the flow of this. So open up, we have a folder, we have some notes and our months. We got a cover page, first month, second month, third month, seed inventory. I will put this other divider in here. Yeah, see how hard that is to get in there? I guess it's fine because this won't move around a lot, but this is much thicker than the other one. All right, and then this guy I need to file away. So this was for my zones, like last frost, early spring crop starting times and the first frost, etc. So I am gonna do another one of these for the new year. But for now, I will put this back here in my field notes. All right, so like I said, we go right into seed inventory. I'm trying to think if I would have a use for this paper. So I am gonna keep this closer. Um, yeah, seed inventory, garden plans, weekly to-dos, field notes. Um, maybe I can put this in here for now i am going to change the label for this because obviously this won't be weekly to do's but i'm just going to put this paper in here because i think it's pretty and it's still fairly neutral and maybe i will figure out something to use this section for Oh, you know what? This can actually be for my seed starting. That's what this section will be. So any seeds I need to start, anything I need to buy type of thing. So hold on really quick. Let me go grab some alcohol so I can remove this and we can jot that in. All right, so I went on ahead and wiped that section off. And this is high key perfect because look, it's got the citrus on there. Anywho, um, so like I said, this will be my section for seed starting. Of course, I can always get a label machine and fill that out but i mean for now writing it in is just fine so that's perfect yay i'm glad that i figured that out before i got off of here so i didn't have to update you guys later um let me just touch up <laughs> this little guy that just says field notes and this is probably why i should get a label machine just so i know that these sections will be 
noted clearly. All right, you guys, so that is it. That is the full setup for my gardening planner. Hopefully you guys gained some inspiration here if you definitely want to see how I will be using this throughout the year. Again, definitely make sure that you check back in February. That's when I begin all things gardening. Um, right now we are still in our winter season here in Columbus, Ohio. It is um, a zone 6A slash B in some areas is B. But um, yeah, so that is pretty much it for this video. I hope that you all gained some inspiration here. If you are a fellow gardener, hello. Please definitely make sure that you subscribe because I do do, I do do, I do some gardening videos. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. But until the next time, I thank you all so much for coming by. I wish you all health, wealth, and prosperity. And until the next time, peace out.